composing gloves here and today I'm going to show you the right way to add plugins to the database. I did it a different way forever and it is not the best way to do it. So first you need to add the plugins that you just installed. So you install a plugin, go to more plugins, manage plugins. You could also just come here through the options menu and click find installed plugins. It's going to search your system, find all the, the new ones. All right, so it just finished. So we need to close this now. Now we're going to go to add more plugins. Do not click the star. They should appear yellow, by the way, if it's the first time. So I am going to add contact. I specifically just want regular old contact. And go ahead, double click it to load it. Do not hit the star. The star is not going to do exactly what we want. Um, and then I want my my thumbnail to look pretty freaking cool. So I'm just going to add some like instruments to it. Like, like, look at that. And it's pretty orange, extra bonus. So I'm going to come over here to... Uh, make editor thumbnail in the drop down. We're gonna click that first. It's gonna take a picture, a classic no library not found, just like contact. And then we're gonna go over to the drop down and we're going to go um, to the add to plugin database. But before we do so, uh, go over to the plugin database over here in this little plug icon. Go down to the category you want. So I want generators and this is a sampler. So I'm gonna click sampler. And then I'm going to click add to plugin database now. If you don't, it'll tell you to do this. And it will say contact will be added to the category sampler. You click OK. It loads it up there. And now if you right click and you can type contact and there it is. There's the picture that we selected and all that. So that's how I now add plugins to the database. I don't use the star system anymore. Uh, there's a few reasons. First one is... It doing the star just sort of dumps it in the plugin database. Uh, it's not as specific on where it goes and the picture and all that isn't all sorted out. It just sort of slaps it in the list. Um, and when I take the time to do this, only the plugins I really actually intend to use uh, actually make it in there as opposed to the giant wall of plugins I had before. This is just a lot more uh, organized and meaningful. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.